And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Howdy folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Mystic Monkeys. Uh, I like monkeys. I don't know if I care for mystic ones. I don't want them to think what I'm thinking. But this is an abstract game of sorts where you each control a tribe of monkeys and you're attacking your opponents, trying to strand them and fight them. But a lot of this is you moving them with the power of your mind, like this. You're going to pick one of five different monkey clans and you're going to place a bunch of tiles on the board randomly down with each of your monkeys spaced out in different rows. Each player is also going to start with three starting tiles here that you'll be using for combat. And then one person goes starts and you go back and forth until someone has won. When all your monkeys are stranded, which means there's no tiles around them to move to, and or captured you lose. So that's kind of the goal of this game. The first thing a player will do on their turn is you will pick an opponent's monkey, not one of yours. So if I'm a purple player, I'm going to pick one of these and mind control it to move to an adjacent spot. I'm then going to take a look at the tile that it was on and I'm going to decide whether to use the action on the top of the tile or to keep it for combat in the future. And so there's a lot of different actions that can be done. So for example, this one here is going to let me move any or all of my friendly monkeys one space. So I might say, oh, I'm going to move my monkeys one space like this. The more I move them around, the harder it is for my opponent to trap them in an area. That's pretty much the game. These are the different kinds of things. You have a chance to roll a die when you move your monkey to move it even farther, but then you have to roll a die, and there's a, the farther you move your monkey, the bigger the chances that you mess up. Some of these, you can blow up a tile, you can jump to any spot on the board, you can build a bridge to, if your monkey's stranded, to free them, swap locations with another monkey, roll a die, move that many spaces, take another turn, etc. If two monkeys from opposite tribes are on the same space, at that point you do a combat. You're going to take all the tiles that you have, yours plus any that you've collected, and you're going to secretly pick one along with your opponent. And you're going to reveal them and then you basically do a rock, paper, scissors. So the attack beats the psychic, which beats the retreat, I'm sorry, mind control, which beats retreat, which beats attack. Then, depending on how you want, if you want with attack, you capture the opponent monkey. If you get mind control, you can capture them or force them to retreat and then rescue one of your own monkeys back who's been captured. And retreat, you just move to a free tile that's next to it. You, you win, but you don't get to do anything. There's also some other things. You can get a mystic mirror, which combats your opponent and basically means that you win unless you both play mystic mirrors. You can swap all your combats. This, many of them have permanents on them. The ones you start with are all permanent. And some of the more powerful ones, once you use them in combat, they're gone. That's it. You can also play where each person has a special ability, like the teleporting tamarins here. When they leap, they can trade locations with enemy monkey, but their weakness is they're minus one and all in combat values. So each of the monkeys has one strength and one weakness, and you can play that way. That's it. When it comes to components, the monkeys are little wooden monkeys. They work really well. You also have these tiles here. They're in the middle of the board, and you, when you move off these, they don't go away. So you probably want to move your monkeys onto them. But these are purple, the same as the purple color. And I found that a little confusing. I would have made those different colors. The tiles themselves are okay, but I have to say that the symbols on them for actions, I didn't find those to be clear at all. And so you're definitely going to have to use these boards. Now, happily, these boards exist, so you'll look at them and figure out what they do. And I, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the quality. It's a nice looking game and the rule book makes sense. All right, so that's the game. It is a mix of rock, paper, scissors and abstract strategy. And so what it does is it takes things that a lot of other games do. So I'm going to mention some of these games. So when you try to strand the different monkeys, that's very similar to a very popular game called Hey, That's My Fish. We have the combat, which is 
rock, paper, scissors. And then you have tiles that you can draw and find and do unique things are, which there's a lot of games like that. It doesn't gel together for me at all. I don't mind abstract games that have some deep, interesting strategy. I didn't find there to be any strategy in this game that felt deep. I shouldn't say there's no strategy, okay? I want to be clear on that. There's stuff in here. You're trying to move your opponent's monkeys around and manipulate yours so that yours always have territory around them and the opponents don't. I get that. But those tiles, they're just crazy random. I mean, if I turn over the Mystic Mirror, that gives me a heads up in combat. But Sneak Attack, capture the monkey you just moved. That's really lucky. I move a monkey, caught it. I, I don't find any fun in these tiles. They're all over the place. The Mystic Mirrors are in, unbeatable in combat, unless the opponent has a Mystic Mirror, which again is just luck. There's just so much luck in the tiles that you find out there. And you have those three starting tiles, but the combat isn't interesting. Or if you win with the retreat, all you do is retreat. How's that fun? Sure, you can beat the Psychic Monkey, and you know, I, I stopped you from getting one of your monkeys back, but winning with the Retreat is one of the least fun ways to win in existence. You don't hear many songs written about that. So I get what they were trying to do. There's an, ooh, interesting thing. You move your opponent's monkeys, and then you take the tile, and that tile can be an action or add to your deck. Okay, cool concept. I'm on board at that point. But the tile's powers are all over the place. You can move your monkeys into combat, but it's still kind of just a crapshoot. I don't know what's going to happen when I move into combat. We might fight back and forth. You might win. I might win. Who knows what tiles anyone has? You don't have any idea what they've taken. Maybe after you fight, you'll see it. And like the magic mirrors, ooh, they're one-time use. But you have four monkeys, so who cares? Use a magic mirror if you have one. I thought that this would feel more clever. But I don't know the audience for this. Now, don't get me wrong. It's obviously met an audience that did very well on Kickstarter. And I'm sure people really enjoy it, the playtesters and everything. But I just don't know. It's too crazy chaotic to be for anybody who wants a deeper strategic game. But for somebody who's new to gaming, moving your opponent's monkeys is, is an odd concept. The whole rock, paper, scissors, most people understand that, but then explain the different ways of winning and then all these different tiles. It just feels like a mess. And it feels like the kind of game where I'd sit there and go, eh, like I didn't hate it, but I didn't really enjoy it either. And I don't know who wants to play this with me other than someone who might find humor in the name Mystic Monkeys. It's a good production. It's a good first effort from this company. And I'm certainly willing to see what they put out next. But as of now, this particular game feels like it's trying to check off a few too many boxes, but not pleasing people who like those particular genres. At least that's what I think. I'm Tom Vassell. This is Mystic Monkeys on the Dice Tower. Dice Tower Judgment, too chaotic for me.